Hello, everyone. This is Gary Bennett at Excel Me. For those of you that are listening uh, live, if you can raise your hand in the GoToWebinar control panel, if you can hear my voice and see my screen, um, that way I'll know everything else is working. For those of you that are watching on uh, YouTube, uh, one of the recordings, uh, welcome. Uh, for those that are attending live, we will be taking um, questions and answers on this particular topic or any chapter in my book. For those of you that are watching on YouTube, you can uh, click on my free videos here and see the prep past recordings and what's coming up. I um, need to get this updated here for July and August. And you can subscribe to my go to webinar or to my YouTube channel to get uh, reminders whenever I post a new video or attend live here. All right, so we are going to cover tonight uh, conditional. Uh, Objective-C logic using a sample iPhone application and we're going to do this in about eight minutes. So I'm going to cover a lot of topics here, but more importantly, I'm going to spend a little bit of time on how can, um, conditional logic, specifically if-else statements, work. And we're going to do a little random number program generator, one that we did uh, earlier in class uh, for, uh, uh, for one of my courses. I spent an hour on this particular chapter and project and we're going to put it together here for those that are attending live uh, with my students here with the little sample iPhone application. So we'll go to where all Xcode developers love to be is in Xcode. And we're going to create a new project. And I'm going to do a single view application. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to call this uh, my guesses. Sorry. I'm typing or I'm typing fast when I make mistakes. Use storyboard, automatic reference counting. Uh, that should work. And we'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. All right. So we have our project open. And what I'm going to do now is kind of create the user interfaces, uh, user interface for it, starting in my nib file. That's where we're going to go in Interface Builder and create the user interface. And um, I don't want a single click on it. I want it in there so I can use my handy dandy assistant that we're given. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I have a blank view right now. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my controls that I want to use. And what we're going to do with this particular application is we're going to um, select um, a number, pick a number between one and a hundred, and we're going to go ahead and allow the user, tell the user if the guess was um, high or low uh, compared to the random number that was uh, chosen for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a label here where the result is going to be displayed. I'm going to put it up high because we don't want our keyboard to cover it up, and we're not going to cover how to dismiss the keyboard tonight. We're going to have a button that is going to be the uh, button that we press to initiate the guess, and we're going to have a text field here to display our number our, our, that we're typing in. And I'm going to go ahead and put a label here, guess. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up our handy dandy assistant. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of my way. And uh, what's nice about Xcode now, I can go ahead and wire this up without uh, doing a lot of coding right here. I go ahead and make my outlet for my... Um, my result, I'll call this result value, and it's an outlet, which is going to hold our variable. Um, I'm going to then hook up my text field, and I'm going to call that my guess, and that's an outlet too. That's going to hold the variable that's going to hold my actual guess. And then I'm going to create an action here. Um, I'm going to change that to action. That's going to initiate the method for my guess, and I'm going to call this uh, guess button. U T T O N. All right, and that's the touch up inside event is going to trigger that particular method. And like I said, the great thing with our handy dandy assistant is it creates all those um, our outlets and our actions all for us. The only other thing that I need is uh, the code. Uh, the uh, instance variable, uh, we use NS integer um, to hold a random number. Do that. And now if I switch to the .m file here for my particular view, in my view did load, 
I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and hold and generate that random number. So I'm going to populate that IVAR random number with my uh, my random number that I'm generating. I'm going to use arc for random. You can look up what that does. I'm going to generate a random number between zero and hundred, and then in my guess button that gets um, um, initiated with my uh, pressing of the button, that particular action calls that method, I'm going to determine what the guess was, if it was too high, too low, or just right. So I'm going to paste this in here, save you um, my, uh, my typing. I'm going to go ahead and compile it, and let's see what we got here. Assuming I didn't make any mistakes, which is always an interesting assumption. I'm going to run the app. Just going to bring up the simulator in just a second here. I'm going to put out my outlet here. Sometimes the simulator wants to come. There it is. Uh, that's, that's not it. That's from the previous time they're at. Still bringing it up. Come on. Let me just close it here. It's still running from the previous time. There we go. All right, let's try that again. Go ahead and run it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tap in here. It's going to bring up my keyboard, and I could have, yes, I could have uh, uh, brought up the numeric keyboard right away, but I should have guessed my random number now. I'm going to put a breakpoint in here where my guess button is going to generate it, and I'm going to guess 50 right in the middle. I'll press the guess button. That's going to call my guess action. And what I'm using is the uh, string method int value, which will take a NS string and convert it to, you guessed it, an integer. And if I was doing this, if, you know, I'd, I'd refactor this to be an NS integer here. Um, but this will do for purposes here. So I guess 50, that's what I have. My random number is, I'm going to cheat, my random number is 81. Um, so it should say that my guess is too low. And yes, it is. And there it is, it puts too low there. Um, let's go ahead and guess 82. And I'll press guess. And it should say it is um, too high. And it does, too high. And now we'll go ahead and guess the number correct, because we cheated. And now it should say it was correct. Voila. All right, so um, learned a little bit about wiring up our applications. You can look at the other two, uh, YouTube videos I have on a little bit more how to do that and dismiss the keyboard. Maybe I'll spend a night on handling and talking about um, uh, first responder and how that works, which is how you dismiss your key bet, your keyboard on a guess, um, and then changing, um, maybe changing that. Um, I might do that for our next class, expand this a little bit. All right, uh, for those of you that are attending live, I'll be happy to take your questions here when I stop the recording. And for those of you that are listening to the recording, I look forward to either seeing you live or attending my classes online at excelme.com. Uh, we have uh, multiple subjects on all types of iOS development, uh, starting from those of you that have never programmed before, um, learning object-oriented programming, Objective-C, iOS development, iPad development, and all the SDKs in between. Thanks for attending, and I look forward to taking your questions right now.